heard by now we're just two days away from doug's backyard weather cicada cookout edition <laughs> doug are you listening uh, I mean, yeah. the time has come now mm -hmm. to reveal the chef who is planning oh. this delicacy this incredible menu tommy mcfly apparently has been a plan party planner he's going to yeah. introduce us to chef xavier daya of the ronald reagan building doug you ready okay let's do it no every chef we need to adapt ourselves to be able to use new ingredients and always looking for something new. So I embrace uh, uh, the, the, the whole process of trying to have a different approach with cicadas. Of course, is insect, but you know, us French, we can eat uh, frog legs and snails. So why not, why not cricket or cicadas? Has it been tough to source the cicadas? I want to tell you then for the last two, three days, I'm going on the morning, and on the afternoon to harvest my cicadas, to have enough to try to do a couple of dishes for doing. But what I did, you know, I cheated a little bit. I didn't cut my grass. So cicadas love it, you know, it's long and tall grass. So they're easy to pick up. Without giving us too much of the menu away, um, were you surprised how versatile the cicadas were as an ingredient? Yes. Doug is gonna be amazed about having some cicadas eating them different ways. To give you a real talk on this, he's like freaking out about it. He's like, no, I don't know what to expect. I'm no so nervous. No, don't scare him. He's going to be fine, you know? He's going to have the cicadas he's going to see, and the cicadas he's not going to be able to see. I, I just love it. Chef Xavier Day from the Ronald Reagan Building International Trade Center. I cannot wait to see you on Wednesday afternoon. Um, <laughs> <laughs> on the plaza at, at NBC4. It's going to be it's great. It's going to be fun. It's going to be fun. I can't wait to see him. I can't wait to see Doug eat them and think, you know, what, what he feels about them, how they taste. Uh, by the way, that was Tommy McFly as he was preparing the menu for our big cicada cookout with Doug on Wednesday. We also want to know, would you eat them? Our poll is up right now on the NBC Washington app and at NBCWashington.com, and I'm just checking it out. 89% of you say you would never eat cicadas. 4% say you'd try it. Only 7% of you would do it for money. I thought Ugh. that one might be higher. Hmm. I thought that number of yeah. people. I, I can only speak for myself, Doug. No amount of money could make me do what you're really? going to do. You're telling me I could have asked for money? <laughs> right. I mean, Doug, what's wrong with you? I mean, yeah, that's not the only thing I told Tommy. I said, look, Tommy, this is the only thing that I asked for is I don't want like a like a souffle or anything like that. And the only thing sticking out is like the red oh, eyes. Oh, gosh, no. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I got to like, hide the eyes, definitely. Yeah, I don't want those things looking at me as I'm oh, of course about not. to go. But that'll be Wednesday. Uh, I'm excited about that. Yeah. Hey, Doug, uh, are you right. going to let it crawl around your on your <sighs> ears before you eat? Did you see that? I did. When yeah. I did that, oh my god! Was it creepy? What did it feel like? That was—it's on my Facebook on my Facebook page. I could literally hear the thing as it's crawling around my ear. It went all the way from my arm all the way up, and I'm like, all right, where's he gonna go? It, you know, they try to get to the highest point, so he just kept going and going, and uh -huh. he got stuck right around my yeah. ear. We heard uh, that's when I had—I just—I had to get it off there. Which all right, let's take a look.